Hi guys, Joel from RC Max UK here. Quick video for you, I wanted to show you what I'm doing with my LOSI 5T into 2018. Nearly the end of January already 2018, already, it goes quick time doesn't it? And I got myself, I got myself this, which is quite a beast of a motor. It is an ALX 71cc Melosi Italian RC engine. Now, 71cc everybody, it's a big engine. Of course, I've got the uh, 30.5 km engine in my, uh, in my Losi. This is what my Losi looks like at the moment. It's got the, uh, the Joker Designs body wrap on it with my logo, which please check out Joker Designs if you want a body wrap. I'm pretty rubbish at putting wraps on, you can see that if you look closely at it, but I'm really pleased to have it. Thanks big time to John for doing that for me. And uh, it's just nice to make a vehicle your own, isn't it? To make it stand out from everybody else's. So I'm, I'm massively chuffed with that. Um, I've gone for silverback beadlocks with uh, Mad Max Giant Grip tyres from RC Models. Not the beadlocks, of course. I got them from Abbott's, I think. But yeah, they're silverback beadlocks, which I think are the... They just went together really nicely. I like them. I'm thinking about the, the fact that I've got a 71cc engine going in here, so I have taped the foams inside there in a hope that they might stay in and the wheels, the, the, the foams might well stay in the tyres, but having seen what happens to other people's 71cc cars, keeping tyres keeping tires on, the, on the rims and keeping foams in the tyres is quite a task, but there you go. So yeah, it's all about this, this engine. How do you make a car like a Losi 5T, which has a, what, a 29cc engine in its stock? How do you make a car like that take this kind of power? It's a billet reed case engine, as I say, from ALX in Italy. Awesome looking clutch. It's just an amazing looking piece of metal, actually, to be honest. I mean, it's, it's heavy as anything. So, yeah, basically, I wanted to show you the kind of things that I've got going into this to try and keep it in one piece and kind of keep it going. So this is a uh, RC Max exhaust actually, which um, I got with the engine. Now, I, I, you know, I, won't, I won't go into the ins and outs of how I got the engine exactly, but I've wrapped it in heat wrap. I'd never used this stuff before. I know it doesn't look very good, but I thought I'd give it a go. Otherwise it's just black, black painted in there. So that's a kind of work in progress. But yeah, so upgrades wise, what have I got? I'll talk you through it quickly. I want some advice on this, so please guys, if you have any advice on what to use or, or the, the mods you've done yourself to run a, a beast engine like this, let me know. FLM braces, front and back. FID uh, center brake servo stiffener, I suppose, or brace. I've got the Fonzi RC engine mount bolts with, uh, with the washers, hoping they're going to be good. Uh, Monster Vertigo Monster hardened diff locker for the center diff, so running running a diff locker in the center. There, the uh, Joker Designs turnbuckle set. I've got the the heavy duty Blackbone gears, which I've gone for 30 tooth pinion, and that's a 50 tooth spur. I bought that new. I bought that used. There's a mixture here of new and used stuff. So the braces were used, the locker was used. These are new. That's new, obviously. The FID brace is new. That's an air breather or a breather event for the uh, fuel cap. IRC shocks, which I've heard are pretty much a, a something you have to get. I got them used. Uh, I've got a couple of used diff cases here, so diff cups. That's an NRP one. Looks very nice, that one, actually. I'm quite pleased with that. Got this one off eBay. That's a air, uh, hot racing. Now, that, to be honest, it's a thing we're getting used stuff, isn't it? It looks, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not quite so pleased with that. There's a fair bit of wear on it and it, it doesn't look or feel anywhere nice as this NRP case. Brand new Area RC top plate. This is where RC Models comes in handy, guys. Look at these beautiful brakes. I mean, it's a split centre tower, so you can get the diff out easily. And uh, that's the FID brake setup, which has the built-in springs. It, it looks amazing. 
feels amazing. I'm hoping that's going to be good. I know that people go on about the, what is it, the modified RC tower, because it's got bigger bearings. So I tried to look for one of those, couldn't find one, so I settled on the FID. I really like the look of the FID stuff anyway. So that's the, the discs, that's the rest of the tower, and that's the top plate. And then over here, I've got an area RC used rear outer diff case. I'm looking for a front one. If anyone has a front one they want to sell used, let me know. Either, I suppose, um, area RC or IRC or whatever. So, yeah, that's, that's the current mods at the moment. So, I mean, anyone, as I say, has any advice how to get one of these beasts to, to survive... Oh, sorry, how to get the car to survive uh, an ALX 71cc engine. Let me know if you have any advice or tips. I know there's quite a lot of uh, interesting news going on about big bore stuff, actually. Now, ALX is producing some new engines, um, a Super 50, and I think there's a Super 40 coming out. Uh, he's also got a, a 46 and, and, of course, the 71 and the 71 Molossi, which this is a 71 Molossi. Uh, big bore stuff seems to be taking off a bit now. Of course, you're talking about a very expensive engine and you're talking about upgrades that you're going to need to do to your car to make it survive the kind of power. Mainly drivetrain stuff and wheels and, and <laughs> things like that. You know, there's these uh, BRPs, or solid wheel and tyre, where the tyre is kind of moulded to the wheel and there's no foam. But... Personally, I don't like the look of them, but, but I mean, I, I get the whole idea behind them is that they, they don't have a foam, they're rigid, so they stay together and they hold up to this kind of power. So yeah, guys, let me know. A little update for you, a little walk around of what I'm doing. There's all the, stu there's all the stuff. There's the engine. It's an incredible piece of kit. If you want to check this out, billet reed case engine, ALX. Look at that beautiful head, machined uh, head there. It's absolutely stunning bit of kit. Check a ALX out. I believe his website's alxengine.com. I believe it's www.alxengine.com. Uh, check that out. And also just, you know, I'm going to be doing videos on this whole process, on, on the build, on what I'm doing, on the first run, running it, what breaks, what doesn't break, all that kind of stuff. So... Check it out. Keep an eye out for it. And as I say, advice, comments, um, you know, if you guys have been through this and you've got comments and, 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 and pointers for me, let me know. Tell me how to do it. <laughs> I appreciate any advice and comments. That's why I do this at the end of the day. So, yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.